My name is Vanessa O'Brien, Mountaineer and Mission Specialist. I'm very excited to introduce a new SES supported project led by Dr. Al Gill to measure global atmospheric plastics. Microplastics are tiny pieces of plastic that accumulate in the air, become inhaled, and end up in the blood, tissues, and organs of humans. On a global basis, we produce up to 380 million tons of plastic annually. That's the equivalent of the weight of the entire global population of 8 billion people. With only 9% of plastic recycled, one can only imagine the potential health risks. And I say potential because studies are underway, but I wouldn't be surprised to find links to cancer and even fertility down the line. Hi. I'm leading a series of expeditions to sample snow from alpine and polar glaciers all over the world. But why? Well, in 2019, some researchers found microplastics on the surface of an alpine glacier. That was the first time that it had been seen. Not too long afterwards, some different researchers discovered that it's not really the oceans, it's more the atmosphere, which is the major way that microplastics are transported around the world. If you collect snow samples from the world's alpine and polar glaciers and then somehow figure out how to measure the microplastic content, you've got a snapshot of the microplastics in our atmosphere. Hence the project name, GAPS, Global Atmospheric Plastic Survey. But there's a problem. Normally when people talk about sampling glaciers, they're talking about big drilling machines and enormous great ice cores. Fortunately, there's a better way. Okay. Hi. I'm Dusan Matrichmat, and I'm head of research group at Helmholtz Centrum for Environmental Research, and my research group is called Microplastics, Nanoplastics and Elements. So five, six years ago, I developed an ultra-sensitive method for nanoplastics and microplastics. And that's why applying a new techniques uh, called PTRMS we are 100 times at least more sensitive than any other methods in the world, which allows us to measure very small quantities of the samples, which is exactly requirement for GAPS project. Thanks to Dushan's new sampling technique, we just need small jars. Unfortunately, of course, there are about 200,000 glaciers in the world, and that's a lot of sampling. I hope you'll consider joining us to make this project a success. Without like-minded champions like you, this task would be too complex. So if you're part of an expedition that involves some glacier travel, please give us a call. We really need your help.